Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity that is investigating directly connected routes. Well, uh, here we can see the objectives. Uh, investigate IPv4 and IPv6 directly connected routes. Here we can see uh, the network in this activity is all already configured. Uh, we have to uh, log into uh, the routers and we have to use some show commands to discover and answer the questions below about the directly connected routes. Uh, we got a number of questions here uh, we have to answer. And uh, here we can see the exit password is Cisco and uh, uh, privileged exit, uh, I mean the user exit password is Cisco and privileged exit password is class. We will come to part 1, investigate IPv4 uh, directly connected routes. Uh, use show commands to gather information about the IPv4 directly connected networks. Enter the following commands on R1. We are going to give a show IP root then question mark. Then they ask here what option would be most beneficial in determining the networks assigned to the interfaces of the router. Okay, we will uh, come to the router R1. Here it is. Okay, here we'll go to password is Cisco, enable password is class, and here we are going to give show IP root and then question mark. And here we can see uh, the commands after this show IP root. Yes, and here we can see one option called connected. So, using this uh, command uh, connected. We can determine the networks assigned to the interfaces of the router. Now we will go to B. Yeah, which networks are directly connected on R1? Uh, hint to use the option determined above. Okay, here we can use this show IP root connected and we can see uh, directly connected uh, networks on R1. Okay, we will come to R1 again. Yes, here we will give show IP root connected. Yes, here we can see the connected networks. Now we will go to uh, C. Uh, which IP addresses are assigned to the LAN interfaces on R1? Okay, uh, so we will come to R1 and we got a command called show IP interface brief and we can see all the IP addresses assi assigned to the different interfaces. Yes, here we can see that. Oh, they are asking for the uh, LAN interface, so obviously it will be uh, these two gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1. Uh, next question is uh, which networks are directly connected on R2? Right, so we will come to R2 CLI. Here the password is Cisco, enable password is class, and we will give show. IP root connected and we can see uh, the connected networks yes here we can see that and here the last question uh, which IP addresses are assigned to the LAN interfaces on R2 okay uh, how we verified on R1 the same way we are going to verify on R2 uh, we have to give a show IP interface brief and we can see LAN interfaces such as uh, G0 slash 0 and uh, uh, 0 slash 1 and here we can see the details I mean the IP address now we will go to uh, step 2 verify PC addressing and to test connectivity open a command prompt on PC1 issue the command to display the IP settings so we can use IP config on uh, PC1. Based on the output, we do expect PC1 to be able to communicate with all interfaces on the router. We, we have to verify that. Provide a short answer describing your expectations. Open a command prompt on PC2 also, right? Issue the command to display the IP settings, right? Based on the output, we do expect PC2 to be able to communicate with PC1 verify your expectations right we will come to pc1 and pc2 
we will come to pc1 first go to desktop command prompt here we are going to give the command ip config and here we can see the details so 172.31.20.10 and here we can see the subnet mask is 255.255.254.0 and here we can see the default gateway uh, we have to verify this default gateway we can come to r1 this is a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and here we can see the ip address of this interface yes it's correct and here we can see uh, this pc1 will be able to communicate now we will come to pc2 desktop command prompt here we are going to give ip config and here we can see the ip address 22.10 and here we can see the default gateway 23.254 uh, we have to verify the ip address of uh, this interface uh, g0 slash 1 okay here it is g0 slash 1 yes it's correct and here we can see the subnet mask also the same 254 here also we can see so obviously it is in the same network yes here we can see these pcs can communicate with all interfaces uh, on this uh, router now we are going to ping from pc1 to pc2 before that we have to check the ip address of pc2 so that we can ping to this okay here is the ip address i'm going to copy that coming to pc1 command prompt here we are going to ping to this pc2 yes here we can see we are getting the replay so ping is successful now we are coming to B. Determine the IP addresses of PC3 and PC4. We'll record the results and determine if PC3 and PC4 are able to communicate. Test connectivity from PC1 to PC3. Was the test successful? Okay, we will come to this now. First of all, we will come to PC3. Here we will go to desktop, command prompt. We are going to verify the IP address. And we have to see the default gateway. Cisco enable class. Here I am going to give show IP interface brief. And it is connected to G0 slash 0. And here we can see the IP address. Yes, the default gateway is correct. And yes, here we can see the subnet to mask so i am coming to show running config and we'll go to yes here we can see that and we confirm that it is in the same network now we will come to pc4 we'll give ip config yes and we will uh, verify uh, the default gateway here we can see it is connected to g0 slash 1 and here we can see the ip address of this interface uh, 25.254 and submit to mask yes it is in the same network yes so pc3 and pc4 will communicate each other so we will go to we'll get the ip address of pc4 and uh, ping from pc3 and ip address of pc4 here yes we are getting the replay now we will ping uh, from pc1 to pc3 okay here we can see the ip address of pc3 coming to pc1 and uh, we'll give ping to pc3 yes we are getting the replay uh, next is uh, looking at the outputs of the routing tables on R1 and R2. 
what might indicate a reason for the success or failure of communication between PC1 and PC3? Obviously, we got uh, success here. We can see coming to R1, and when we give uh, this uh, show IP root here, we can see something called a default static root. And also, same thing we can uh, see on R2 default static root. So, obviously, a PC1 and PC3 will communicate each other. Now we will come to part 2. Investigate IPv6 or directly connected routes. Uh, use the show commands to gather information about the IPv IPv6 directly connected networks. And uh, here is the first question. Which IPv6 networks are available on R1? Right, we will verify that. Coming to R1. Okay, here we are going to give show we have IPv6 root. Yes, here we can see the details. Next is so which IPv6 unicast addresses are assigned to the LAN interfaces on R1? Right. Coming to that, here we can see the LAN interfaces uh, such as Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 uh, and here we can see that and uh, 0 slash 1. Yes, here we can see that. Now we will go to uh, see which IPv6 networks are available on R2. Right, same thing we are going to check it on R2. Password is Cisco, enable class, here we are going to give show IPv6 root and here we can see the details, yes. Which IPv6 addresses are assigned to the LAN interfaces on R2? Yes, here we can see the interfaces, so gigabit Ethernet 0, uh, 0 slash 0. Also, we can see gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Now, we will go to uh, step 2. Uh, verify PC settings and connectivity. Open a command prompt on PC 1. Issue the command to display the IPv6 settings. Based on the output, would you expect PC 1 to be able to communicate with all interfaces on the router? Provide a short answer describing your expectations. Alright, we will verify this now. We will come to PC1 command prompt. Here we are going to give IPv6 config. And here we can see the details. Here we can see the default gateway. FE80 colon colon 1. Okay, and we can see the IPv6 address. Prefix length is slash 64. We have to verify this uh, default gateway. We will come to R1 G0 slash 0. We will come to the interface. And here we will give show IPv6 interface brief. And here we can see, yes, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0, FE80 colon colon 1. Yes. Now we will come to PC2. IPv6 config. And here we can see the IPv6 address. 2 double colon 10 slash 64. Okay, we will see the network. 2 colon. Yes, here we can see that it is in the same network and here we can see the uh, default gateway. Now we will ping from PC1 to PC2. Before that we will copy this IPv6 address. We will come to okay, we'll come to PC1 command prompt. Here we are going to give 
pink and ipv6 address and here we can see we are getting the reply next is uh, determine the ipv6 addresses of pc3 and pc4 uh, record the results and determine if pc3 and pc4 are able to communicate also test connectivity from pc1 to pc3 was the test successful okay we will do it one by one we will come to pc3 and here we will verify ipv6 config and here we can see that it is 3 double colon 10 slash 64 and f 80 double colon 2 is the default gateway uh, we will verify on r2 cisco enable class here will give show ipv6 interface brief and here we can see yes 3 colon double colon 1 okay it is 3 yes it is same network and also we can see the default gateway also we will go to pc4 give ipv6 config and we will verify it's 4 double colon 10 okay we will verify on r2 interface g0 slash 1 here we can see that yes yes here we can see that 4 yes it's correct now we will ping from pc3 to pc4 so we have to get the ip address of pc4 okay coming to pc3 here i am going to ping to pc4 and we can see we are getting the replay now i am going to communicate from pc1 to pc3 so we will get the ip address ipv6 address of pc3 yes here it is we'll come to pc1 command prompt pink ipv6 address of pc3 yes we are getting the replay and to here is the final question uh, bonus uh, what might indicate a reason for the success or failure of communication between pc1 and pc3 after looking at the outputs of the ipv6 routing table on r1 and r2 we will come to r1 and when we give this ip show ipv6 root command here we can see the default ipv6 static root here yes it's via 0 0 slash 0 slash 0 also on r2 when we give the command show ipv6 root here we can see uh, the default ipv6 static root here yes here this uh, default ipv6 static root allows all the traffic of ipv6 network hence here, here we can see pc1 obviously will communicate to pc3 well it was a, a small but interesting uh, packet tracer activity investigating directly connected routes and in this uh, packet tracer uh, we have seen some of the uh, show commands also we tested some uh, connectivity um, using uh, maybe ipv4 or it can be ipv6 uh, we did not see any configuration in this packet tracer but we know this uh, um, so commands and uh, uh, testing the connectivity i mean troubleshooting is very important friends if you have any doubt uh, please comment below also if you like my videos give a thumb don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get uploading video info into your gmail thank you